each and every day, I absorb some of the most useful and useless information known to man whilst tendering auditions for the voice of the world. Now, who in their right mind wouldn't want to share these shards of enlightenment? I give you that plethora of positive proficiency, the expendable snippet. Sometimes we have to voice projects with which you may or may not have close connections. Take cooking, for example. You. I see you laughing at me. Yes, I am a disaster in the kitchen, but I'm married to a real live chef, which makes me once removed from being able to cook, right? <laughs> I'm the Sue chef, or as my friend Jack says, a chef named Sue. And who doesn't watch the chef shows on TV? I mean, the wisdom and encouragement of these celebrity chefs. Call that baba ganoush, you moron. The hobo outside the front fucking door can make spotted dick better than you, you brat. Oh my, that certainly is something, isn't it? So let's go back. Way, way back. I mean, flour, bread, and soup came rolling out of the cave about 10,000 BC. There is really nothing new under the food sun. Think about the first ancient who melted cheese on bread, huh? We still eat it today, and look at ancient Roman mints. And tell me that's not meatloaf. Medieval fritters? Ha <laughs> ha! French fries. So the chef is more than a bossy guy in the kitchen with all the recipes. He is the master of making everything old taste new again. But where did the modern chef originate? But of course, the French. The modern kitchen can be chalked up to Georges Auguste Escoffier, who was charged with documenting and modernizing the French cooking of Antonin Carême. Escoffier's kitchen practices became standardized worldwide. His five mother sauces are much revered. In short, he elevated the profession, and his Le Guide de Culinaire is still the backbone of most modern professional kitchens. But here we are. Thousands of years after Nod Rog Yasmar emerged from the cave with cheesy yak soup, followed by a delightful berry and fig ice. But today the chef is much more. They're an integral part of the community. They hire local help, use local foods, and show off other artisans. They raise awareness about hunger and sustainability. They have been a major influence in consumer behavior. No longer hidden in the kitchen, the chef is front and center and here to stay. So, there you have it. Yet again, another expendable snippet. Do a 